you guys are also recognizing the media industry and the needs of the media industry, which is scuddy markers and time code and metadata and all the parts and pieces that kind of have to go with those deliveries mm -hmm. in order for a business to function. Mm -hmm. Zixi can keep all that stuff encapsulated with the stream as well, correct? Zixi's the idea of managing newfound supply chains. We see our customers as they begin to scale out. They figured out that they can use the open internet to deliver broadcast quality transmissions. Then they are trying to support and augment their traditional legacy delivery and, and, and broadcasts. But as you move into this digital realm, sources and uses start to get very complex. And supply chains, live broadcast television was always very hard. Digital OTT workflows can have five, six, eight different partners in a given supply chain and having visibility to that. So we've created uh, tool sets and things like Zen Master, our UI control plane, that gives you the ability to scale out the Zixi platform across multiple parties, multiple partners, and be able to give everybody a unified view on what this means. The value adds around quantum quality analytics for us means, you know, at one point we just had visibility into the network. You could see the heat map of where, you know, something's up, something's down at the network layer. Now we have the opportunity to bring in uh, the audio, the metadata, and preserve that and layer it on top of what we know today at the network layer and to absorb and optimize and again, part of that machine learning AI tools around it to provide a true optimal quality experience for an end user. I mean, I think another thing that's coming out of this is the previous and early days of digital streaming, you expected it to be not so good. The content wasn't that high. The quality level was only going to be moderate. If it didn't work well, that was okay. Yeah. That is shifting now. Now I'm going to watch my Super Bowl on my phone and it has to be perfect. As a matter of fact, it needs to be better. Yeah. And I need to have more visibility, not less. And I need more uptime, not less. And I need to connect it in more ways. The numbers of inputs and the numbers of outputs are rising exponentially. So we've really been striving to solve that problem, which is both an engineering and an operational challenge. One of the things that's really intriguing me about what I'm seeing in, in some of the new Zen Master features is that your company is really focused on analytics. And in my head, I assume that meant, you know, data analysis, you know, of number of watch, people watching and whatever, but you guys are going in a really interesting direction for broadcast engineers mm -hmm. coming back and trying to not only show them where there might be issues, but actually help them see issues before they're viewable Correct. and solve those problems. That's fascinating to me. Working in the business to business realm, which is where Zixi plays, uh, it, it is amazing how blind the television industry has traditionally flown. So normally you send out a signal in a broadcast and you know what happened by what came out on the other side. You take the video, you play it out on a piece of glass and someone says, yes, that was good. And the best way to confirm back in a master control that something happened is a net return. I have to send a feed all the way back to where I was to confirm that it was what I expected it to be and that my sponsors and advertisers are happy and that my consumer and my end audience got a beautiful program. As we move into the digital realm, uh, I need to have more visibility because I have more hops in the supply chain. I need to understand network conditions. I'm not dealing in a contained system like a satellite distribution. I want to have view to various network statistics like packet loss and jitter, but I also want to understand the content analytics. I want to know what was my video? Did the video freeze? What was my audio? Did the audio spike? Did it go black? Having a beautiful picture and no audio defeats the purpose, but it may have seemed like it was okay. All of these things, and as you mentioned, we preserve metadata. So we can even manage and understand if we did lose a packet, what did it hit? Did it hit an iframe, which is like the beginning of programming and destroy the programming quality? Did it hit between an ad marker, some kind of scuddy marker in that regard? Did I lose closed captioning? All of these things are requirements of broadcast, but you're gonna have an unprecedented level of view and management because you can, and as we extend this out, once people have that level of control, it's very hard to give up. We know just from taking surveys of the industry that root cause analysis, finding a problem, did somebody go wrong, it's a very expensive problem. It costs a ton in terms of operations, it costs a ton when it escalates to engineers, and it costs even more when multiple parties and businesses have to get together and say what actually happened. So we've been able to take processes that took weeks and months 
and distill them down into minutes and hours and days. So we believe that that's a really impactful way because the quality levels of broadcast aren't going down, just the supply chain got that more complex. Is it, are you just able, just able to look at the Zixi process or are you able to actually look at the entire workflow process? What, what's the goal there? It's interesting because we do get asked to see sort of outside the boundaries and perimeter of Zixi, but our primary view is within the Zixi context, but that starts at the point of encode and goes all the way through to the point of either a decode or somewhere where there is a digital signal pickup at the CDN. Um, but knowing the alphabet soup of protocols like our TMP and HLS and Dash, we do need to have to know and confirm that those protocols and signals were delivered. Mm -hmm. And much like a FedEx truck or some kind of UPS delivery service, we can confirm that we got the package and that we delivered it unbroken and in perfect state and show that it got to the receiving side as, as intended. Thank you.